Hello, welcome back to the second day of our Demon Scourge campaign. Things have been going pretty, pretty smooth. Surprisingly smooth, perhaps too smooth, uh, considering that we've made a deal with a giant demon and are soon to learn, I suspect, the very harrowing consequences. But we have one, two armies up, and we have a really good third army in the process. And by a really good third army, I mean a really good third hero with Morgak the Troll. Uh, we recently just unlocked the Tribal Chieftain ability. Giving him no upkeep for trolls, orcs, and goblins. So I'm going to start switching his army around today. I'm going to start giving his army currently over to her, our Death Mage. Because these are all enslaved creatures. And then our main army is a bit of a hodgepodge right now. I'd like to get some more permanent characters in here who are not enslaved. Um, simply because it makes them a lot cheaper. A lot better uh, when we upgrade them to things like core demons. Knowing that core dwellers also take enslaved makes uh, this a not so good upgrade to make. So, when we last left our intrepid adventurers, we had cultists going to Bastion. She was going to Cracks in the Foundation to cash in that quest. This guy had been clearing out low-level trash. Realized we couldn't fight these. What I really need to do is I need to get one of these orc war bands. And it's kind of shocking that we haven't found one yet. You were going up to Undergast's library. And we already sent a cultist of seven keeps. We have another cultist being made who we're probably gonna send east into the undead territory. How about D and D's? Oh, dang, we're being blamed by Satanism by US people. Let's rename all the demons to non-biblical names like Whisper Demon. A fun Valentine's Day story. My wife and I are both religious. We'd already been engaged for months. We get to the point where we don't feel like waiting anymore. So we called up a bishop and some parents and quasi eloped on Valentine's Day. Hey, that's easy to remember then. I think getting married on like an already existing day uh, is a, a smart idea. Because <laughs> it means that neither side is going to forget it. You don't have to like pretend, you know, be secretly writing it into calendars or have like reminders written for you somewhere. Like you just remember it because you're like, oh, yes, we got married on St. George's Day or something like that. I'm using what Valentine's romance linked to all is linked when all three St. Valentine's died as murders. It's a rough go for them. That's a sad old go. Caught the charge from a flower shop a few weeks ago. You confessed that it's heart-shaped cookies. 14 red roses and two white roses. Pretty good. Pretty good. All human, dwarf, and elf gain righteous. What is righteous? Six damage against undead and demons. Well, I don't love that. Your scouts report that Torak is away from Orgash in a camp on the Misty Coast. When you arrive there, the mood is somber and grim, many of the orcs nursing varying degrees of injury. Torak pushes himself as a bloodied leather patch strapped to his shoulder. Please tell me you bring good news, friend. Today is a grim day and we have lost many friends. You tell him what little you have learned, and he muses long and hard over who might be responsible. No orc clan here has that much influence, and I cannot believe any shaman would lead their people to such acts. It seems it will forever remain a mystery. Still, you've rid us of the problem, and I must thank you. I have a gift for you. He walks to his tent and comes back with an object wrapped in cloth. This was not the easiest thing to find. To me, it seems only fair that you, who have helped us so much in this and other things, get to keep such a thing. My family and clan will remember you for many years to come. Tome of the Spider. Physical damage to an adjacent enemy and applied cocoon. Plus 20 with Orgash. Ooh, I think we just maxed out our rep. And with that, our journey together comes to an end. There is much more work to be done, but less now that a mage such as you has helped us. Don't forget that I helped you. 
Orcish barracks. Orcish barracks. Also, Orcish shamans who can summon spiders. Well, that's got to be our top priority. That's got to be our top priority. Harsh training grant will create raiding parties and orc warriors for your troops. Five free gold upkeep. Brutes, javelin throwers, and warg riders. Next level is level 50. Hmm. I might get rid of a workshop. I think I'm going to get rid of a workshop. It's a workshop or a study, right? I'm more inclined to do the workshop because it's only gold. Oh, it's golden crafting slots. Oh, dang. I didn't realize that, actually. Ooh. All right. All right. You win this day. Orc barracks it is. Message there is 14 years wedded plus two more years wedded with a child born. 16th anniversary. Oh, my God. Love it. Upon reaching Undergast's library, you can see masses of beetles roaming the buildings and the grounds before it. Where unsuspecting animals have moved too close, bones and strips of meat cover the ground. Whatever lured these chitinous beasts here, they seem to rather content to stay. Oh, well, okay. Among the slain beetles, you find a man in scholar's robes. He digs his way out from legs and wings, emerging with only a few cuts and bruises. You're my savior. A few minutes longer and those beasts would have devoured me. I tried to, one of the spells, unbeknownst to me. It was a call to lure these beasts out. Please do not tell my master about this. Undergast will have my head. I will not if you serve me. Or disobedience, I need to tell him. So there's two mages who are close to me. Rowan and Gore. This guy, I think, is on the other side of the Demon Lord. So he kind of makes sense to be my friend. I don't know who this would be. If this is like an apprentice or what. I feel like it's just like you probably get like a mentalist or something. Trash. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'll tell him. The man stamps down onto the stack of dead insects awaiting his fate. Undergast voice echoes in the library. He shall be punished accordingly. Reputation 190. My God, am I actually going to make a friend for once? Undergast here like, you got a friend in me. Got a friend in me. Now, would you please get off of that camp? I would like my money. And yeah, 20, 20 research as well, which never goes astray. Now, sadly, I'm even further away from this shaman because I built that orc barracks. You're merged. I think it's about time we take off the tower. I think, I think. 
All right, so we do have this big bruiser. Oh, I was waiting to see what the new units were going to be this week. Mentalists. That could maybe be interesting. That could maybe be interesting. But white damage isn't particularly great for us. No, I don't think there is anybody in there I really want. I'm going to pick up this fairy grass and then I'm going to go get this spell page next turn. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, I did not think two characters would chase us. There are still big armies pouring out of here. All right, comfy cheer, trade contracts, additional dummies, and a set of cultists. Let's uh, find a Taurus of the Eye on these guys. We're going to send them east. You guys are going to hit this lost spell page right away. Creatures around the hiding place in your master's grimoire swarm before you can approach it. It is a auto heroic, which is amazing for this character. Once past the dead beasts, you can clearly see a place is aglow with magic. The ground shudders with a deep resonant hum. This must be where your master has left the grimoire pages. In the center of the magical nexus, you think you can see it floating in the air. Is it safe for you to take it? It is up to you, my champion. The lone warrior you send forth is cautious to enter the swirling vortex. For a moment, both seem to flicker as the humming changes to a high-pitched screech. With a shrill, light faintly vanishes, and your champion, tired and hurt, clutches the apprentice spell page tightly. Oh, excellent. This is the page with teleport and recall on it. That will be very useful. And I th think I'm going to go ahead and just take this Shaper Secret. To start. I want the All Fire, but it will come with time. Bloodthirsty, I'm going to take HP because they only have 28 HP. Take some armor. Now. Now. I think I'm going to clear out this stuff and make our way towards the all fire with him. This is some tricky territory. I might get attacked by those jellyfish. I'm hoping I don't. And I'm pretty much just going to keep making cultists. And throwing them at the wall. Okay. No, those those two undead are actually going to chase my cultists. That basilisk is very killable. Let's plonk down here.
I am not fully healed on this. You have read up on sh Shaper Crafts, so you understand immediately what you have found. Search every nook and cranny. Between broken weapons, copper pipes, and dust, you find a glyph coddled by a dead rat. Next to one of the larger machines, whose purpose you cannot identify, a thick lever sticks out of the ground. You assume the on-off switch. Lastly, you find a skeleton tightly holding a notebook. Uh, bring me that journal. Your instinct was correct. The journal's entries are written in a tight but fluid script. The shapers were truly a pinnacle. Their knowledge so vast we may never fathom it. I still wonder how the dragons brought them to extinction when they had such great weaponry and magic. I must explore further. The next entry, the last entry, is hastily written and splattered in blood. The lever activated. I didn't think it possible. Something is being built before my very eyes. Uh, let's take a close look at that machine. You inspect every piece of the machine, finding a hollow space behind a heavy metal shutter. It takes a tremendous feat of strength to keep it open long enough to take a look inside. Just out of reach are a handful of papers. I cannot reach. We need to activate the machine. Um, I'm going to I'm going to retreat. I'm going to heal for a turn. And then we'll do it next round. And you lady ain't going to do much at the moment. You, on the other hand, are just going to go running around picking up heroic victories. Ooh, a thief's token. I'm actually going to take willpower because we're mostly going up against death creatures next. And that grizzly bear has a lot of HP. I want to see if they keep chasing me. This all fire node is not got a lot of HP left. I should clear that out with somebody. And who knows where I'm going with you? Retreat. Crafting materials, some corrupted adamantium. I would love it, love, love, love it if I could get one more worker for that stack. And I think it will be wise. Uh, it's only my demon here, so I'm going to let them have it. We get a ring of luck, 20% more loot. Two willpower against ability attacks. I mean, I might as well give you that. And then you can have that. We'll grab focus on him because I mostly want to use him for healing. And then I'll keep clearing out trash that away. Sick. Those undead have left these books. So we can at least gobble that up. I'm mostly healed here. Have another look at that journal. Take a look at that machine. Activate the machine. <clears throat> the machine sputters to life. A crystal encased in the metal starts to glow, pumping magical essence through glass pipes and into the heart of the machine. A low hum, a metallic clip, and a hammering become louder with each passing moment, swelling to a cacophony before the shuttered window pops open. A final hiss marks the end of the process, and it falls silent. Then a hand emerges, followed by a massive body. Your soldiers shuffle into defensive formation as a construct appears. Up against a shaper golem. Wow. Uh, God dang it. Wow, we woo wow. It can't reach me for another turn. So I think I'm going to take advantage of that.
These guys have crazy elemental resistance. Ooh. Ouchie. Uh, so, these guys have effortless defense, so I basically have to do weird flank attacks if I want any chance of surviving this. He's probably going to do a spin attack. But, I still need to do as much damage as I possibly can against him. I mean, he could eye laser again. Oh my god, his retaliation is so mean. Something like that. Fighting a single Shaper Golem. Yeah. I didn't make the full VOD from yesterday. Did you make the two versions Death Life of the three color demons? Oh, you know what? No, I haven't. I've only made one of those combos. Okay. I am actually kind of shocked he went for him. Hell yeah. It said I was going to lose a lot of people. Instead, I think that's my fifth heroic victory. Your attention is caught by some paper stuck between two hinges. You wrench it free. You take a closer look. It's stained with oil, but it certainly looks magic. We got the fourth occultism page. I do not regret exploring this ruin. You've noticed that Morgak's mood has improved after winning a few battles in your favor. He's regained confidence, and when it comes to stomping into your office, you can finally see the warrior in him come to the fourth. I feel more alive than in a long time. I want revenge to kill Gravok, but I need help. Gravok cheated in her duel. He used magic. I need something to openly overcome it. Shield me from it. I need armor. Magic armor. I know how to make armor. I need ores. Blackwood. I have blackwood. I have a lot of blackwood, but I cannot do magic. I will collect what we need. Four mountain copper and imbue the armor with 100 magic points. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to do that for sure. Bloodlust replaces demoralized. Uh, mountain copper should actually be easy. This guy is currently mining corrupted adamantium, but there's mountain copper right there. So I can focus on that next. Yeah, you're right. So I made orange, green, and blue, but I could make orange, death, and blue. I need a two blue, one orange to do it. Or a two blue, one death. I don't have. Did I have this? Did I just screw that up? That's what I'm looking for. Not her. The Paradox of Shadows. Paradox Interactive of Shadows. Minus 100 XP bonus. Enchants every battle with Warped Reality. 
all units except demons are affected by warped reality until the end of battle minus two damage minus two willpower every demon ally in this unit stack gains 200 daily regeneration ability attacks execute an enemy of equal or lower tier if its health falls below 75 percent Uh, she negates arcane and he negates death. So I literally can only use the cult of shadows for this. What is interesting is demons don't take XP. And missile damage is not bad if it's going to be an ability based character. 75% execute is insane. That's wild. How am I liking the DLC so far? Dude, I love it. I'm having a really good time with it. Uh, I find it's very, very fun. I really like the new crafting mechanics. Try not to get spoiled too much myself. I understand. Minus 100 XP, but you need to level up the host to level up the demon. Uh, you could cast XP buffs on it. That's a good point. Get enchantment. I think you can make a unit that does not use XP. Get it? There's got to be some weird options we can get away with. Plus three gold, plus three mana, plus three damage on flanking attacks inflicts bleeding. Uh, this would actually be pretty good. This would be plus nine damage on flanking attacks. Because it gives backstab as well. Also, no upkeep cost. What would this give you? Plus two willpower. This unit gains plus one level up options. But enchants every battle with focus leak. No, I want to level this up all the way. I want to get skills cost no focus. And then I want to get immune to bleeding. And then I want to have infinite demons. It costs 50 mana to cast that. Um, but this backstab, this backstab dagger is pretty good. Thirty-two mana. I'm gonna enchant that. I'm gonna enchant that. You guys need to heal. You need to hide a little bit. You're gonna have a really rough time trying to get anywhere. I do feel like I'm missing something. But I... Don't know that I am. I guess until I can start, like, merging demons together. Possess artifacts. See, there's a, a zero out of 11 recipes here. I'm hoping once I do possess artifact, it's going to unlock more recipes. Okay, and Morgak, yeah, you require this. So once I'm done getting Chaos Altar, I can focus on Morgak. That's a lot of undead. Leave Brittany alone. Kill these jellyfish. Then kill this basilisk. 
You can level up unit to level 15 and make it a demon if you can get enchantment page 3. Level up unit to level 15 and make it a demon. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's how you make um, a core dwellers. Uh, the big problem I have is all these units are enslaved, so they really don't make good demons because they stay enslaved as demons. You've got Elp of the New Age. Kill routed units. Hunter, chunk of meat, additional loot after each one battle, plus six damage against beasts or fire arrow. Deal 33 elemental damage to a unit in five range and apply burning. Great question. I can't use fire arrow and volley. I actually think I'm going to take Hunter here. You can take focus. Melee damage, speed, or feast. Consume an adjacent corpse and restore feast and restore health. Applies to blood charge and feasted. Whoa. Plus two damage, plus one health regeneration at the start of your turn. So actually four damage and two health regen. And then feasted, which is another four damage, four ability damage, five regen, but minus one speed. I am definitely going to take Feast. I really like this guy's ability so far. Hmm. I could buy Giant Strength or I could buy the Orc Shaman. Obviously, the thought of putting giant strength on this troll has me very interested. I, th I think right now, though, I'm going to get this shaman. And... I want to start moving the enslaved units over. Uh, I guess you're a healer, so you're still kind of useful to me. I don't know, they had the demon? Technically, they ought to all go. Two turns, we can start making orcs. Um, okay. Hold on a moment. Let me think this out. Brutes, javelin throwers, and warg riders. If I give him a shaman, two brutes, a warg rider, and a javelin thrower. I kind of want two shamans in this guy's army. We could do two shamans. To a brute and a javelin thrower. I can make that work, maybe. They're all free in his army, which is just the most insane thing. Can the shaman heal? Not yet, but eventually, if you level it up. Got like 200 worth of stuff on your wish list at the Vanguard militia. I, I'm not sure what that is, Vey. Give shaman a demon. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. Easier said than done. Two death and one orange. Well, I guess let's think about it. I could move these guys over to that army. Probably should have other people doing this. Just because there's some really high level brutes, brutes, javelin thrower. I can't get to that, which is really annoying. There's always going to be jellyfish spawning down there. Now. No way in hell they let me do this. But I guess we'll try. <laughs> Plan on playing new Agent Wonders DLC on the 27th. I do. Absolutely. 100% I do. Tron, good morning. Need some shrooms for two death, one orange. Yes, shrooms are what it is. I think you're right. Marinero, what's up, dude? Military clothing store. Oh, nice. Lapel pens, change coin holders, tie tax, that kind of thing. I love it. Love it. I have a lot of like uh, uh, military surplus stuff. I used to buy it a lot when I was younger because it was just like it lasts you forever. All right, we need this copper ore. Turn a target ritual altar into a chaos altar, providing hellfire and hireable demons. Ritual altar. Ritual altar. I could send the troll up that way. Seeing as that's the only ritual altar around. Flight! We're going to work on Morgath first. Uh, willpower, armor, or mage hunter? I'm going to take willpower here. Immune to burning. You can take unstable elixir. Applies 18 elemental damage and can apply frostbite, burning, or poisoned. Or you can take glacial concoction and apply rooted. One to three actions. Oh, this is like multiple attacks. It's a lot of focus, but a root. I think I'd rather the root. He's meant to be a support character, so... These must be my homies. Orcs on the West Guard from Orgash. Maybe we can chat with them. Website provides military clothing for all branches, both in uniform and novelty. Nice. 
picking up novelty items for my service. So like a lapel pin with the materials meritorious unit commendation when you got that ribbon in the Navy. Oh, that's super cool. Tie attack with the Navy seal on it. The kind of stuff you that you got wish list. I love it, dude. That's amazing. Those are great choices. So good. Newton, hello. Good morning. What's Kraz Al Ghul next to your cultist? This is the twisted seat of the demon lord. Which I think is a problem I have to solve before it becomes a real problem. Uh, do I need to cast anything? I haven't summoned one of these yet, and I'd kind of like to see what it's like. I also need to make my way up this way towards that um, all fire source, so I can kind of get two burns stoned at once. Uh, it would be cool if I could stay in my own zone to heal. I know he wants more orcs, but he's going to have to wait on them, I think. Now, there is a city up here, though that's also clearly Gore's Tower. All right, patience, patience. Probably notice I say swear a lot. I swear like a sailor. Hey, eh? there's no problem with that. I try to keep myself PG-13, but I don't require it of chat. <laughs> oh, so many good options. A2 Brute. A2 Javelets. The orc camp is quiet when you reach it. Mostly I'm awake, huddled near the fire, take, talking only in hushed voices. Couples silently treading to the tick bugs they've brought with them. Tending to the tick bugs. Many of them are injured, some so badly you don't think they'll fight again. Friends, what are you doing here? The orcs move at once to the sound of your voice, drawing weapons, staggering to their feet. They see your banner and realize you're already known to them. We've been running for three days and three nights. It's good to see a friend. We're not raiders. Our village in the Misty Coast was attacked and we were made prisoner. Our fight for freedom was the first some of us had held weapons. We've been wandering the lands since. Uh, you may join me or I can have you escorted home. The orcs seem excited by the offer. A scout quickly volunteers to escort those who wish to go back to the Misty Coast. Some have been buoyed into fighting by their struggled lineup. Free javelin throwers. Three javelin throwers. One javelin thrower. That was confusing. Um, I don't really want to go up this way. I might as well clear this out because otherwise I'm going to be attacked here constantly. So let's start with the trash and make our way around. Oof, that actually did a ton of damage to me. I might be in a bad spot. A couple young boys run past, excitedly talking to you. It's amazing. I saw a huge wolf and a little man able to balance at least 10 horses on his arms. I hope we go back to visit them again. Is there a circus nearby? Zacharias's Menagerie? Chaos Wisp. Ah, they're tier two. They also get Zerbo's Curse. Zerbo's Curse. 
They also get chaotic meld, which increases the node's all fire output. Oh yeah, okay, so we use them from here on out. And we're gonna corrupt this ritual altar. So. Congrats on the muck. <laughs> Look at all these military terms I don't understand. <laughs> Do you know what the shore looks like? You haven't forgotten? Been out for a while. I was on the SSN. Didn't get off the boat much. I love some good sailors. As an East Coaster, I don't spend a lot of time sailing, but I respect the hell out of it. Now, I think that's the town. I also know that there's a town somewhere up here. Seven keeps. Lilyshire or Goldshire, I think it's called. Somewhere up there. I'm going to try to get to this one because I'm pretty sure that's the town, the spider town. I've picked up two more cultists. I'm going to run them up this way. I may need more tourists. We'll have to see. Uh, and do I pick up something to break this guy? Not yet. So, you were saying mushrooms. Orcish red caps, I think, break them. You're going to wait here until this shaper rune is done. Uh, I guess realistically, I could just sit next to Orgash and wait to see what they come out with. Oh, we don't see the harbor a lot. Sub crews coming out of giant torpedoes for the first time in eight months, and their skin is damn near transparent. Is SSN submarine? I'm assuming it stands for super submarine. <laughs> Submersible nauticalness. Crazy how people get during underways, especially deployments. Shrieks and cries from the village pierce the ear and lead you towards a horde of undead. Excellent. I don't have to fight them. Give me five. Four? Oh, that was exactly how much I needed. Invest. Uh, and this will be done next turn. Oh my god. More Glock. You're going to get your big upgrades. I might not want to take this. At least until I'm healed. Do, do. Let's wait a turn. I could probably split these guys off and maybe get my distraction there. Wow. 
cool. Well, let's get that for certain. Exploring the shrine, you become hashtag blessed. Pick up another heroic victory. Also unlocking this cave. 66 HP. I'm going to give you a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm going to wait here because I'm A, on a cave, and B, in my domain. Yeah, I can't meld with that, but I can meld with the all fire source, which I think gives two points. One, two. One, two. I hope. I might actually need to move my lodge there, which would be fine. That's not going to kill me. Dude, I need some like invisible cultists. Rook of the Eye leveled up. Level two, nice. Oh, my weapon of the cutthroat is done. I am probably gonna give that to him. Oh, he's not demoralized at all. He's regained his bloodlust, but he doesn't have like full bloodlust. I'm not sure if I want the willpower or not here. Why don't I have a moment of patience? SS submarine, the end on any ship designates nuclear power source. Okay. That makes sense. CV is a character. CVN is a nuclear character. Nuclear attack sub. Missile subs are SSBNs. This is so cool, dude. I didn't know we had submariners. Son of a submariner. SSBNs are the ones that carry ICBMs. Cool. GNs are the ones that carry lots of cruise missiles. VA is expecting you in an hour. Good luck. Godspeed. Like that. We learned something new today. I love learning new things. Enslaved keepers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to buy them. These are very good units. Tier 3 cavalry. Shup, shup. Chup, chup. Uh, I am going to buy another one of them as well. I got all week. So they're going to replace probably the archers. And I might just keep the earth shapers in here just so I have a healer. Like literally so I have someone with the healer ability. This homie's got to level up. No spell selected. That's true. He might try to cause me some problems. I think that javeliner is probably as good as dead. Remote town of Kanak makes its trade from the trees and animals of the great surrounding forests. Their hounds are sought after by nobles throughout Highmark, and the town is celebrated for its hunters and trackers. And I knew there was a place down here. Primordial forests. Big spider nests. <gasps> a ritual altar. The Arachnomancer. These guys have enslaved units as well with enslaved spider queens and all sorts of beasts. Oh, I could have a very good enslaved beast army. Oh my God. If we got feral trolls, they have the ability that like if a unit dies, if a beast unit dies, they go like berserk. 
You could also get drunk javelin throwers. Blood bead. I'm actually going to buy this just as a crafting material. It's a really good price for a four point. Connachek has requested your help with a mage not far from the city. Some years ago, the mage took up residence nearby. We didn't think much of it. A few weeks back, he started to experiment with spiders. Since Southwash is overrun, something must have gone wrong. And we're going to try to cult. Javelin makes for a fine sacrifice for an artifact. This is true. <gasps> Cast the spell on Morgak's armor and finish its creation. We can also pick up... I think I'm going to research Fly just to get it out of the way. We're actually making really good research right now. Probably because of the Shaper Rune. Good to know. And then we can do this fight, I think. Uh, all right. So 829 versus 599. I lose my spawn. I lose my mage for some reason, it says. Vampire Acolytes with Tendon Cutter. Ghouls. These are new. I've never seen these before. Tier 1 Undead. Shouldn't be a problem. I hope. Further hello. Tucking in. That sounds adorable. Yeah, Cindy's got a habit where she really likes being tucked into bed. Like how she has the blanket pulled up on her. She likes tunneling into blankets. So when she discovered that she could ask me to tuck, tuck her into bed, she now makes a real big habit of getting tucked into bed. Like at least once a day. <laughs> It's just a new model for the ghouls. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Interesting. I wonder why they updated that. All right. This army has a grizzly bear, a brute, an ashen one. Yes. Yes, sir. Three ranged. That's a choke point. Yes. 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 Commander. Yes. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to do it like that. Yes. Wall of fire. This is an ability that is on all the time. Interesting. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Just got to imply in Kindled as well. That's really nice. In Kindling Touch. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, brother. Uh, we have piercing shot here. We also have motivate. So I can get bonus grizzly bear moves. Yes. Yes. I mean, almost certainly I want to just summon more monsters. I'm actually going to do that and then that. Yes. 
I want to make sure that this flank is like secured. Goof. It's okay. That works for me. Summon units. It's it's the perfect exactly who I want to be taking those hits. Grand. Now. They're definitely the bigger threat. So we'll move to wipe them out. Yes. Yes. Uh, I could. Almost kill them. Thirty two to forty eight is very likely going to happen. So the question becomes I could actually just kill them with you. Yes. Then healing pot with you. And I think I'll actually cleanse. And we still got an attack if we want it. Why not? Yes. Eating corpses. Yes. I'm fine with that. Uh, these are my ashen ones, so I could actually give them a full heal, then heal you, and then just blast these guys. No probs. No problem. Never get over the wacky footstep sounds. The plodding along. Coffee hates having any blanket over them. Uh, I, I, my other cat doesn't like it at all. Um, like Mona, Mona is, she likes being on blankets, but not under blankets. But Cindy loves being under blankets. Close to 3k. I know we're five follows off. It's so close. Looks interesting. A bit Age of Wonders. Yeah, this came out a little bit before Age of Wonders, Josh. And it's got a, I would actually argue, like a better storyline. Like the main campaign is much better than Age of Wonders. It doesn't quite have the same replayability, but it still has like enough replayability to get over 100 hours out of it. And it's very reasonably priced. Can recommend. You've got death resistance. Maybe I just go double down. These guys ready to loot the tombs. Now that's a lot of white damage. Let's heal for a turn. I think. Uh, I want to get enchant armor. It's going to take me many turns according to this. And I also need to get another chaotic spirit. Let's do this. Two and two. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think that's a good, good trade off. Oh my God. An undead. Never ends. It don't never end, do it. Before Age of Wonders last year. Yeah, yeah. 
Bastion's happy with us. We can meld chaos meld into this all fire node. Do we go check out the circus? Forgot I'm trying to bring these shamans up. Uh, you're going to buy keepers. How do you not? Corrupted Glyph of Shield. Replace this guard with Impenetrable Bastion. I mean... Use consumables is the upgrade for the gourmand. Go with focus leak. You know what? I could put focus leak on the trolls army. Maybe in that other warlock. It's a bit of a weird choice, but. Kill spellcasters. Focus, smoker, cobalt. I'm trying to think what's going to go good on um, that charger. The pawn. I just realized this also gives expendable. The rook. Honestly, probably the vulture. Damage on flanking attacks. The smoker would be really good if we wanted to put this over in the Eastern Army. Because all I have to do is kill five undead and this unit and every ally in its stack gains immune to choking fumes. But it means I'm taking ten, five death damage every turn in the meantime. You know what? The Alp would probably be the guy to do it on. Because he's got charge. We still have a Grimoire thing for breaking mines. Yeah, I got to break 16 mines still. So if that's the case, I'll do it. I could give him the Gourmand. Consume Corpse. It's not bad. Regain health equal to melee damage. That's actually probably a pretty good choice for him. I'll do it. I'm going to give him that. Yeah, he's got 116 HP. So he's he, he's stonky. Heroes of Might and Magic 2, good. Yes, agreed. Orc armies having death resistance, they might be good with the smoker. We need to level up the pond on cheap sacrificial units. Yeah, yeah. Do orcs have natural death resistance? No. No, no, no. They actually have minus one willpower. It's just that I guess I've been getting level up options. Uh, so do you need anything else here? I don't think so. I'm going to send her up in case we need to move that lodge, if that's the case. Seven keeps has become indifferent. All right. What? He's pillaging my tower. Ah. 
This guy's got to chase me twice. On the bright side, I think I actually have the cult in Kanash set up. Pillaging my tower. Unbelievable. 425. Two warg riders, three archers. Uh, there's a brood and a javelin thrower coming in here in a moment. So I could give her a big enough army to wipe them out. And I think that would be a good plan. gonna check out the circus in the meantime finally time to test firewall enchantments i i really oh you're right because he's attacking the tower you're right it would trigger there bright and colorful lanterns light up large tents and wagons everything's painted vibrantly the music is loud zacharias's menagerie of beasts and oddities in the main square you're immediately surrounded by juggling clowns people dancing more on stilts and the sound of different animals i'll pay five bucks to watch a show you witness a wild variety of animals all trained to jump, fly, roar, and run. A snake as large as a tree trunk winds around the tent's central pole and lets smaller creatures climb it to retrieve treats from the roof. Horses gallop in beautiful patterns, dancing across the ground. And lastly, a lone wolf, large and majestic, jumps through burning rings. Is it the fortune teller? You make your way to a little tent that smells of sage and thyme. A small woman sits behind her clouded eyes, tracking you across the room. Look at your future. Ask for a peek. My bones tell me of the knowledge you seek. It is not cheap, but you will define your future. Yeah, why not? Snatches up the stones, comes to a stop, and examines them each with her fingers. A mouth without laughter, warped to a smile. Careful when getting near, it is filled with guile. There is no more to tell you for all this gold. A mouth without laughter warped to a smile. A clown? Maybe? Love the atmosphere and the music of the game. It's got a very good vibe. The whole way through, it's got a very good vibe. All right, I'm gonna try these guys. Oh, amazing. I love when the game's like, it's good, man. You don't need to fight this. 20 health or frenzy. I got to take frenzy on a grizzly bear. I'm actually going to give you willpower. Uh, and now we can set up and summon a chaotic spirit. And we can bind to this all fire node as well. Oh, restless souls. Ruins depleted. Sunken ruins depleted. Okay. Yeah, this lodge isn't really doing anything more for us right now, so. We cancel that fight. And we cancel this fight. No! I thought maybe I was surrounded enough by those battles that I'd be able to get that off. Oh my god, not only am I not surrounded, but I'm dead. Wow. Wow. So it adds two extra all fire to this. And it's big enough that I picked up the chaos altar as well. So I can summon core dwellers or horned beasts. But these units cannot gain experience. Oh, and I can make ashen ones. Oh, dudes. Oh, dudes. So core dwellers I can already make. And I can make them based off of XP units. Uh, this archer I said was going to leave. S 
So you're going to come up here. Oh, a mysterious smile. This is obviously that jester. Oh, hell yeah. And there's orcish red caps here, which is what we need. To break the minds of our wizards. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Probably should be you equipping that though. Can I meld with chaotic ones already melded? I don't know. That's a good question. The demons don't have a mind slot. No. Flight. Inviting a malevolent soul into one's body is not an act many can withstand, but once the pained screams fade, they emerge greater than before. Greater sacrificial summoning. So this is the last spell in the last page of the occultist tree. I... Oh, yeah. We're going to just start researching that right away. It looks like Aether Demons. Spicy. I can't wait to find out more. Where is this guy going? Goldshire? You're raiding one turn for these demons demon dudes to show up. Three turns. Uh, I think I should also start s charging levitate. Because this shaper rune is almost finished. If the tourist is returned into my inventory... I can bind that onto him. Bind that onto him as well. Uh, I don't intend for this cultist to stay in that army, but until that archer comes down. Okay. We'll start going for that big all fire node it's really nice that we got this all fire this like super all fire node really early for free because it's meant that i have not had to rush getting other all fire at all you come alive to a large pile of bones that stinks to high heaven blood stains the ground and you find the occasional tooth you scan the area for potential dangers, but soon you find the telltale sign of trolls. They must have caught some of the wildlife and devoured it, skin and all. Luckily for you, they have already moved on. I guess those are the trolls from the Northwest. So there's a bone pile. What am I coming here for? Orcish red caps. I think I'm actually just going to go straight for them. Start cleaning out the zone. This is amazing. These are like very small armies. Uh, this army is not going to have slaves in it. So I'm just going to go with like health and healing. That being said, this is a slave war rider. So I'm probably going to want to replace him. Get the treasure first. Corrupted Glyph of Healthy. Yeah, and all this stuff has demonic influence. So, 568.
Let's see how we do in this fight. Wall of fire. Each round, your enemies have a chance to be afflicted by burning. But I feel pretty good about it. They do have the high ground and a lot of archers. Burning. Nice. This guy's got arcane arrow. Which does a lot of damage. This guy's got roar. I'm just going to have to do it like that. Yes. Huh? Huh? Yes. Huh? I don't got very good shouts. But the burning is going to also heavily affect that. Nice. Okay, he hit the guy who was really good white resistance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You've only got one movement. So I think get your kill. Chonky boys, I see how it is. Commander. Commander. I could probably yes. get rid of those wargs. Huh? Yes. Broken. That's nice. Bunch of disordereds. Uh, I do think I'm going to lose both my javelins and my keepers right now, though. Huh? Maybe not. Yes. Unbelievable. One HP. Huh? my god keepers who eat corpses it's so deliciously demonic huh? all right he's gonna flee and rout i like that core keepers also can throw fireballs Pierre, howdy. How you doing, dude? How has the hell diving been? Surprised we have to fight it, but it's going to be fun to watch him burn. I mean, this is great because it's a bit of experience for her as well. Who has not traditionally had a lot of options to do that. Plus six against spellcasters. Uh... Oh, man. I was just thinking I could put the uh, the demon on him that levels up from killing spellcasters. That's not a bad idea. Oh, 
Oh, it's the Arbiter. Ooh. I'd have to take Focus Leak. Not a bad idea, though. I don't got to do it quite yet. Uh, you guys are brutes. You guys are jabs. Melee damage plus focus plus ability damage. Cult of Shadows. These are all new age. I want a missile damage guy on you. I want a missile damage. I want a cobalt is what I want. A, a cobalt demon. Cobalt shadow demon. I'm sure I could do this. So if I was to take shadows and I need three orange, three poor poiple. I can use blackwood now. Because we've gotten what we needed out of it. Cobalt of Shadow. Hell yeah. Let's do it. And on that Brute. Uh, that Brute is kind of going to be designed as a tank, so I might actually just give him a Rook. Probably a Rook of the Eye. Could I give you a higher level rook we could just go straight to that I don't see why not these guys are going to be like permanent additions in really good troll army so making sure that they have actually like really good upgrades benefits me a lot in the long run uh there is a set of jellyfish around who might cause me some grief hopefully not And then it's time to start summoning the demons. Who are going to go in her army, I think. Actually, she's probably going to deliver a demon army to the east. Is what's going to end up happening there. All right, this guy is in desperate need of healing. You're going to wipe out these dweebs. Heals daily to 100%. We'll take it. This uh, this brute is almost level 14. As with these jab throwers, what if I gave this guy all the demons? He has occult incantations. Every demon ally in this unit stack gains 200% daily regeneration. He already has an immortal ashen one. I could give him the core dwellers, the enslaved core dwellers, the horned ones. And then like, I could actually do something. Like add a cultist in there. with a paradox all units except demons are affected by warped reality I wish you could put a demon on your characters be really nice 
I would like that very much. Thank you. Oh, dope. This guy's got a Taurus in the new age now at level three. 250% bonus XP. Can't wait to make a demon out of you. Once we figure it out how. Not bad. Need to get back on it. I'm, I'm desperate to do some hell diving. <laughs> I don't know when I got time, but I really want to do more hell diving. Fish trap depleted. All right, we got one more turn on the Shaper Ruin. Those guys are going there. You're going here. Oh, whoops. This cultist is going like up here. You come to a cave where a rock has been worn away by jagged and spiky hole across the ground. It looks like a mouth grinning with a sharp and malign smile. Was it the seer at Zacharis Menagerie told you? A mouth without laughter warped to a smile. On the stone set to the side of the entrance, you see dwarven script carved. I have a dwarf. What does the script say? If you enter the smile, turn to the greens. All right. Inside the cave, dimly lit luminescent stones. Gap on one of the walls, you see the rainbow reflection of water rippling on the cavern. Another wall completely covered with glowing mushrooms. Only a narrow path which leads further down. Uh, I guess moss and mushrooms are greens. After some time, the moss and mushrooms lead you to a more open path, and the going gets easier. A little further along, a wider cave. Crystals sparkle along the passage. Opposite, there's more moths and lush vines that crawl up the wall. Uh, turn to the greens. The vines could be sturdy enough to climb. You inspect the vines the way up the wall. You're surprised to feel a cold wind against your face. There is no wall. Behind the walls is another passage. You slip behind the vines only to find yourself in another stunning cave and find five Lenya. Whoa. All right. I'll take it. Why not? Uh, and I guess I'm going to send this guy to Castle Meldek and see what the quest is. How goes the conquesting today, Lux? It's going pretty well, dude. Honestly, pretty good. We got demons, we got orcs, we got enslaved units. We've got a fine combination. We're picking up Hellfire. Hellfire, all fire with chaotic melding. All right, this guy's going to harass me. I had a feeling. I don't think he likes me very much. We're in a Cold War. Well, gives my army something to do. It's his spire. That's not his town. The town is still further in here. Charge! He's immortal. Collect the evidence of the slain undead to send to Darkvale Gate as we head to the ghostly prison. You are on Orcish Red Caps. This is going to unlock my shamans. Uh, my polar bear is a little bit wounded here. So I'm wondering if I don't heal before going in. Tomb. Tomb. Hundred HP. I 
forgot we have spiders. D&D group are trying to convince your DM to give me a level as a birthday gift. <laughs> always a gamble. Always a bargain. Uh, this is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Let's not fight this. I think I'm underestimating something here. Rather, they come to me. You can sit on the tower, which is also going to take off now. And I'll go this way. I'm actually realizing tomorrow is day seven, so I'm going to have her go to Orgash. They're on their way up. My Rook here, level to level three. A level 10 enslaved Grizzly Bear. I want to I wanna see what this greater sacrifice we're unlocking is, because I might actually sacrifice that bear. All right, the tower is levitated. I need to break three more units. Two of them I'll be able to do once I get those red caps. Was this another altar right down next to this? Tomb, ruins, no. I suppose it doesn't hurt to just save some mana. You rat. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. I got zero interest in fighting him. 100% research from all fire flow. Okay, well, I'm glad we saved a bit of mana. Oh, wow. We get ruins and we get a tomb. That's very good. That's very, very good. You have to come out and go to Orgash. Oh my God. More keepers and purity knights. These guys are actually exorcists with Mage Hunter. What if? What if? I give her the focus burn. And I just put a bunch of knights in this army. I mean, I think realistically, I'm going to buy giant strength before we do anything else. But more keepers and more purity knights, like that could work really well. Or the changeling. Where is the town? Is it right there on top of his tower? Oh my god, I think it is. No, it is not. Well, I'm dead. That's free experience. Let the rest duke it out. Uh, healing is nice. Armor against melee attacks is probably better, though. Will power loss in enemies or elemental damage? Uh, hoo -ha, hee ha hoo ha I'm going to take elemental damage. I'm trying not to make him a slave stack. We'll do the ghostly prison. The Dark Lord of Hay Fever. Dude, I wish you could rename units in this so much. It would be so good. 
Tor is steaming really cool on worker stacks and scouts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our entire worker stack has Taurus demons on them right now. Yeah, literally the whole, the whole, the whole gang. You're Rook and Cobalt. Up of the new age. Yeah, see, I actually want to replace that guy. Put him down here. <laughs> All right, real talk. If I put Purity Knights and another set of Keepers in here and I bring that Warg down, who gets bonus off of enslaved units, I could make this an entire cavalry-based army. And it would work probably really good. It would be a little bit ridiculous, but... On your travels, you constantly felt eyes on you like someone is watching. Now you notice a warning of ghosts with glowing eyes that appear at night. It warns everybody to stay indoors. Well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. No promises at the moment. All right. Ghostly prison. Not far off the path lies a dark ruin, crumbling walls reaching from the earth like twisted skeletal fingers. You step into the shadows, wondering what might await you inside. As if to reply, a cold touch chills you to your bones. When you look around, there's nothing but dim stairwell leading into a cellar that beckons you. Uh, hello? The cold materializes in front of you as a go group of ghostly elven figures dressed in flowing ornamental robes. They sway back and forth. Greet them. Listen, mortal, my name is Birinil, a leader of Dunmail, Baron Meldek. Our neighbor was envious of the blessings Tiara bestowed upon us. He demanded I wed him. I tried to reason with him, offering Tiara's blessing instead. And then we were invited to his castle to enact our ritual dance, but Tiara's blessing would not come. In his greed, Meldek made a pact with Nor, a renegade guardian, to grant him the power to bind me to him forever. I resisted his sorcery, but by Tiara's grace... He imprisoned us, swearing to sacrifice us to Nora to obtain our power. Blinded by hatred, he assumed some spell was at work. I knew my people would come for me. Much blood would be shed. I could not bear that burden, but nor could I let our souls be sacrificed. My sisters and I made the pact. We took our lives before the Black Baron could. It was our only choice. Had he sacrificed us, his power would have become far greater. Either way, my people would have suffered his wrath. Uh, well, there's no elves in these hills anymore. Our sacrifice was in vain. Meldek entered his pact with Nor, promising the Dark Guardian our souls or his own blood. With us dead, he feared Nor would take him. Rather than face this in panic, he took his children to Nor's shrine, his kin, his blood. He gave them to Nor to save himself. He tricked Nor then. Interesting. In denying ourselves the sacrifice, we doomed these innocents to deaths. Does Meldek live? His pact left him hidden, tra trapped between life and death, hidden from Heron's eyes. He fell into insanity. Our sins weighed heavily on him. Over time, he turned his troops to undeath and attacked a dun male, destroying it entirely. In return, our people raised the very forests around this place to obliterate it. Ever since then, he sits and broods in his shrine to his renegade guardian. Think of all of the knowledge he must have learned. This is folly. He paid a great price for that power. So may you. We put our hopes in you, mortal. I pray to Tiara you will not fail us. So... I do remember if you kill Baron Meldek, you get a unique soul, which is really good, but only if you're a necromancer. Therefore, I wonder if I don't just try to be sneaky. You're going to wait on money. Oh, yeah. We're... What are we? Double research this week? Double research. Oh, my God. I'm still coming out positive on mana. Got to.
Probably should have cast that instead, though. Now that I think about it. What does Giant Strength do? Plus five melee damage? Okay, like that's pretty that's pretty good though. Like. Did I alter the all flow? Uh whenever I chaos meld with it, it gets altered. I actually have so much all fire, considering the fact that we haven't taken the first all fire location. It's a little bit bananas. Oh, <gasps> he saved me. Oh, maybe he didn't. Attack them? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two Orcish Redcaps. Mind broken, mind broken. What's going on, the shamans? For sure, it's going to be a warlock. Ain't no question about it. Warlock of Shadows also gives me missile damage and armor against missile attacks. I'm going to need another one of those. I could do a Warlock of the Eye. But I think Cult of Shadows is a bit funner. Uh, Warlock, green and blue. That would do. That'll do, pig. Meldak is the only soul you get whether you're a Necro or not. Oh, alter the research, the all fire flow. I, I understand what you're saying, okay. Um, Sky Iron Gold. Let's get this gold. Because I know that this guy is like trying to gobble up gold. Awesome. All of them have speed one. So this worker stack just got one movement on the world map. Increased movement. Now, if I kill you... Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh. A tall and twisted spire built on the foundations of corpses rise before you. You see lesser demons whipping rows of humanoids into submission, all carrying enormous amounts of food and drink into the spire from steaming kitchens around it. It must be the stronghold of a powerful demon lord, for you also spot a hundreds of armed creatures of all kinds parading around. A deep red sun barely breaks through the dark clouds. 666 stack power. Kraz Al Tier 4 Fantastic Demon Titan. Well, this isn't my demon lord. Skill, shake it off. Skill, feast. Motivate, plague breath. Army of Slaves. Enchant every battle with Army of Slaves. Kraz Al Ghul's army is reinforced with 10 times slaves. Bathe in blood. Absorbs the blood of fallen to get stronger. Gets blood charged. Okay. Dominator. Which means he gets plus 30 damage. Frenzy. Greater life leech. Fifty elemental resistance. No weaknesses. And he starts doing 60 damage on a melee attack. 60 death. Huh. You're harder looking than you look. This demon is no joke. Yeah. 666, number of the beast. He ain't no joke. I'll take Dwarf Officer. Plus 10 HP to all my units. Now. 
Do these guys stay in their barracks? I don't think they do. You're going to wait there one more turn. Actually, let, I'm going to move you here and I'm going to wait. I'm going to use it. And I am going to give this guy the Arbiter of the Eye. Because he's already got Mage Hunter. Also, that's my 20th mind. Replace Enchanted Unit's broken mind slot with a demon slot. Allowing to swap demons freely and without penalty. I see. This destroys the demon. It doesn't remove the demon. Forest has been returned to our inventory. I mean, this polar bear is like not bad. 131. But these guys become free. Uh, where is my tower? That's what I need to move. We'll probably go right here. Get the fish trap, Meldek, and the all fire all at once. Uh, so I might as well make my way to Castle Meldek. You have demons coming. Those demons are going to cost me a lot of mana. Yes. That's okay. We have a lot of all fire and we have a bunch more coming. Uh, we should actually look at some tower upgrades. I'm just realizing we've been, we've been getting some pretty good materials and I haven't gone to upgrade any of the towers for some time. Probably yes. go like here, yes. here, here. Yes. Here, here, and here. Yes. Commander. Meow, 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 meow. Yes. What do we got? We got ghouls, 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 and a bunch of acolytes. Yes. That's a bit cheeky, but it makes sense to me. Those are my steams. Don't worry about it. Those there, those are my Steam notifications. Yes. yes. I think I might just like let them. Wait, I want to keep summoning more of these guys, but at the same time, I'm also just like. That's good damage for me. That guy's rooted, and he's rooted. Hmm. I 
I could also just like do this and then do that. Yeah. I don't know if that entirely made sense, but yes, feels like it kind of worked. You can jab your little heart out. Yes, yes. Yes. Grizzly Bear, I'm gonna let you maybe pull a kill there. The Bruce can kill them. They get the extra attack. Yes. Uh, geez, I think probably moving up and summoning another one of these guys is the way to go. And then he can just get the kill. These are the actual ones that come back to life, but I think we can just let them chill. So these are both summons, that means. Yes. Super sacrificial yes. summons, that is. Wap, wap. Yes. Wap, wap, wap. Bada boom. Poison on the big demon lord. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I was trying to think what kind of things I could do to sneak around. Ooh, lucky. I'm going to take that. Immune to poison. I'll take that. Missile damage and... Give you armor. These big orc armies might give us some grief. 432. Greater sacrificial summoning spellstone. Turn target non-hero unit permanently into a magic-wielding Aether Beast. It will keep all accumulated experience and abilities. Uh, so Aether Beasts do ranged death damage. Which is nice. No, 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 no. Will you let me do that? <laughs> Funny enough, I kind of need this guy as a healer right now to heal these, these other dudes. makes all of them free. Minus one mana. I'd like to have that cast. In fact, I'm willing to wait a turn to get that cast. And then these slaves can go back south. She's waiting on that keeper. This guy is going to probably attack me in the meantime, though. Is 
Javelins, goblins, a drummer, and a basilisk. Could maybe do that. Tower. You're going to cruise. Okay, so we got these new demons. But what is interesting is that they're not that good. And I can't level them up. But what I can do... Is mutate them. Merging a demon with the other soul's flesh is pain beyond compare, but the resulting army is more powerful than ever. So I think what this does is it gives all of the ability. It's 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 like sacrificing them, but it allows you to do it to another already existing mutant, an already existing demon. I wouldn't mind figuring out what infused memory is too. Cast spell on the altar. Which altar? Oh! Hilarious. Yes, I will do that. Totally slept on that. Didn't even realize it was happening. Uh, I did say I wanted to upgrade some stuff here. And I haven't done this. Orcs and slaves get gladiator. Two armor against melee attacks. One gold is free unit. Uh, that would be really good. Slave pits. Two pelts a week. Allows hiring of ravagers. These are like tier three cavalry. Drummers and war bringers. What are war bringers? All orc, slave, troll, or goblin units gain war banner. Never become routed. Plus one speed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, before I do anything, actually, I just realized... I've had this Tome of the Spider for her. Book of Secrets. Plus three research a day. Would that be better for her? Actually, yes. For now. Uh, so this is pretty clear. A Slave Pits, Raiding Party, and War Banner are what I'm going to get here. I imagine Slave Pits is the only one I might be able to afford. Yeah, I need some pretty crazy stuff to get the higher level. One more Blackwood would give me Slave Pits, but something tells me I can find a way to make that some other way. Like that. Crystal Garden... Two charged crystals a week can be helpful. Giving us blue mats. All demons gain infernal might. Oh, I'd really like that. Sacrificial bowls I'd like even more though. Wow, I would need so much stuff for this. Three purple, one blue. 
I don't have that, do I? Oh my god, I do! Unlocks four demonology ingredient slots. Demonology crafting time minus two. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's incredible. I can't believe I had the ingredients for that. Huge crafting upgrade. Okay. Okay. Morgak dons his newly forged armor and you prepare the spell to enhance it. The metal plates are crudely assembled and unwieldy, but somehow fit the troll perfectly. You cast the incantation and watch as the magic slowly permeates the metal of the armor. Sigils appear all over the armor surface and Morgak nods approvingly. When Gravlock left me to die, he led my tribe away from our homestead. He wants to roam and plunder. I saw his tracks some nights ago. I will find him, and I will kill him. Well, he's on the wrong side of the map, but... The good news is that I can probably cast, like, teleport in not too many turns. Corpse trolls. Undead trolls. All right, those rule. And Gravlock the Hex Wielder. Oh, man. I want this guy. Are you kidding me? Could I get him as a hero? It looks like maybe I could. Regurgitate corpse trolls. Summon corpse trolls to a position within one range. Requires and consumes the feasted status. That's sick. He eats corpses and he throws up corpse trolls. Hex wielder's curse. A devious magic protects the hex wielder in battle. Enchants every battle with hex wielder's curse. Minus 100 death resistance. Maximum actions are reduced by one. All enemies of the hex wielder are affected by this until the end of battle. Dude, this guy's a monster. Question. Morgak gets a sick armor visual. He becomes armored plus two armor. Wearer becomes immune to all curses and plus 50 death resistance. Interesting. Dude, if I could get like a rune of death resistance, I could maybe have him solo the demon lord. Bit of a funny thought to say out loud, but like... Uh, maybe. Morgrak is from the story in Spellforce 3. Oh, cool. Oh, that's right, because Spellforce 3 is all about trolls. All right, what are these dweebs? Purity Goliath, Goliath, Archer, Archer, Archer. All right. Forty HP, twenty melee damage. Rude, expendable, webbing touch. These are my dominator wargs.
Yeah, they're going to stay behind those barricades. I had a feeling. very far up for you to go I can summon a lot more spiders though one two three one two three uh, all right You can't really get into range. Hit him with Zarax curse. Uh, I got some spiders I can get around here. Wow, these spiders have crazy movement range. Uh, I guess let's bring up the war riders. I know they're not a lot of HP, but does kind of look like my plan here is to surround them, so. I'm going to go here and I'm going to guard behind the spiders. Okay. Spiders get hit. Morgak gets hit. Spiders get hit. Spiders get hit. Spiders get hit is the answer you always want. It's a bit risky. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. He'll just kill him on a flank. Hmm. I could do that. I could just kill him. That makes a little bit more sense. Uh, oh, you know what? I can do that. That keeps my warg safe. Now the real question comes, who wants this kill? What? You just have like deal damage, so why not make it you? Random Battle Brothers questions. Does the unexplored map option make it that much harder? Yes. Currently have a bit under 30 hours and I'm wondering if it's time to challenge myself. Yeah, the, the unexplored map makes it really tricky in Battle Brothers because you no longer can kind of like see where the towns are and you can start planning out trade routes. So the early game becomes a much more difficult thing to snowball during and Battle Brothers is all about snowballing early game to like outpace the curve. Ultimately, it just adds a, another layer of RNG though. Because you can still play around it. It just becomes trickier. Ellen's Curse. Minus two armor, minus six damage against a unit with beasts. Do you count as a beast? No, you count as a troll. You count as a beast, though. Plus one vision range or 100 willpower brutal. I'm actually going to give him brutal because he's going to leave this party and join another group. You are designed to take this cobalt. You are designed to take this rook. Give you an extra five health. 
<sighs> I guess the spiders probably count as beasts as well. We'll see how that works. Castle Meldeck. Guided by the echoes of song and the distant smell of the summer's breeze, you approach the gates of a dark shrine. A sense of foreboding washes over you. Visitors, I've waited for you to arrive since Nor told me of your coming. You see a swarm of undead and phantoms moving in the dark of the sheep of the keep. What do you want, mortal? Talk to him. You've come here to face me. Have the elven wenches filled your mind and thoughts with revenge and redemption? Do what you must, but know this. I can teach you Nor's secrets. Share my power with you if you're willing. Is that not better than risking your life for some long lost cause? What secrets? If you seek to gain the renegade's god's secret knowledge, I can teach you the art of creating undead and ruling over them. Hmm. I don't have mana. This is going to kill a unit, probably, if I do it. And everybody in this army is, like, level 11 plus. Flip side being, I do have two demons on their way. I'm going to go with Blood of Immortal. Oh, it didn't kill him! Starts and ends in blood. And Nora will decide whose blood and... From here shall be spilled. You shall get your reward. Know that there is much more to gain. Knowledge and power are the Dark Lord's gifts. 40 research and blessing. I will return with more offerings. Will I? I think perhaps I will. I could mutate these guys. Oh, I didn't realize this. This unit is possessed by and counts as a demon. But he doesn't get the demon flag. But does he get 200% daily regeneration? I don't know. That's a very good question. Hold off until you see end game crises. Yeah, I would recommend that for sure. Yeah. Demons are lucky. Non-demons are unlucky. Makes you possessed units lucky. A great question. Where are you going right now? Yeah. Ah, you were running from that stack is what you were doing. Now I remember. <laughs> Armor, loot, holy warrior. I'll take holy warrior. Get you more cavalry. Got nothing to break them with, but... Uh, okay, so there is a grizzly bear and an earth shaper on its way down. That earth shaper is actually not a very good choice to put in this army. Because it requires focus.
Uh, I guess it doesn't cost me anything to have him though because he's a slave, so. Do I need to cast any spells? Yes, Chaos Altar. For here. I could sell some souls. These pristine souls do nothing for me. Cobalt of Shadows leveled up. Nice. Yeah, she actually does a lot of damage because of that. Let's go! Establish cult in the West Guard. Cult of the Tides. Can traverse waters and rivers. Plus two focus. Immune to burning. And two blue points. We've got slave pits. We've got sacrificial bulls. We've got another warlock crafted. A Taurus has been returned and the word of recall is complete. Revive hero. Why did this come up? I'm a little curious what infused memory is like. Oh, that being said, I've got double research right now. I could pick this up in four turns. Potentially. I think I might want to heal before I do this. Oh no, we're good. Greater Glyph of Spider. Epidemic. Grants Exploit Poisoned. That could be good. Elin's Boon. Unit is immune to rooted. Temporarily gains pack tactics. Meh. Or Dark Mending. This unit will restore 30 health among all demon units in the stack each day. Affects only demon units. I mean, I got to take that because I'm very curious about how this works. Because of possession. Uh, all of our orcs just gained gladiator, two armor against melee attacks, plus one additional gold. I don't suppose we could pick up a raiding party, could we? Uh, what do I need? I need one red, uh, one orange and three purple. I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can actually replace this Warg Rider with a tier three Ravager. Which is really nice. Up to five free mana upkeep. Unlocks the cult slot to change the affiliation of demons and artifacts. Unlocks the second demon slot to allow fusing of lesser into greater demons. Oh, this is maybe the more important thing to be getting. All units gain demon kin. That's so busted. <laughs> I definitely don't have the supplies to do this anymore.
but like not crazy far off. I would need a three blue, one green. Oh yeah, I also have gold now. Noted. I also have gold now. I don't have any three blue anything, so. All right. So not fusing crystal. One rare demonic item per week. I like the idea of being able to change the cult. Because like I have so many of these like cult of the new age. That it could be nice to get a switch out on that. Uh, that being said. I would basically just need like lots of corrupted rubies. Oh no, sorry. That's demonic trade. I'm looking at the wrong one. Red and blue, orange and blue. Not a ton of options. He's close, but no cigar. What about something in here? Like pen pal. Can we get pen pal? Definitely. Let's get that in the study. And the corrupted sanctum. Oh yeah. How fast is this build? I have to ask. Two turns. I was literally just thinking about like, oh, what if I like double pumped on a week where you get 100% research from all fire flow investment? What if you pumped another 100% all fire flow investment into that? Now, unfortunately, I am at the end of that week, the week of history. But that would be really good if you were smart about it. I truly just love the music in here. I, I feel like everything I need right now is three blue, one of something else. Dude, what feels like an almost insane amount. Uh, all right, here is something we can do. Focus crystals. I think. I need blues. I need blues. Probably that. That would do it. I can't put you guys in, can I? No, okay. I didn't think so. Let's just do that for the meantime then. Oh, sick. I also have access to slaving slavers now. Wow, we actually have a lot of units available to us. I could. Let's 
So you pick up one of those. And then just have a second stack of slave units that wander around with these guys. Uh, probably good enough to take this. No reason not to do it at full HP, though. And potentially on the defensive. Don't need to buy them anymore. Just pick what unit you want. Yeah. With the slavers. Uh, let's move you up here. I feel like you slowed down. Uh, I'm going to head over to the all fire right now. Oh, what do I, what am I doing here? Who do I get rid of out of this army? Three green, one blue. They're very expensive, but that's an incredible crafting opportunity. Let's let them wait. Oh, nice. One of my warlocks leveled up. Plus four ability damage. I think it's good for crafting. I could have these guys go to glowing eyes in the night. Why not? Uh, this is the one about like a bunch of animals visit the house. We hide in the house to catch them. Just animals looking for food. Uh, and then I guess I could come down and get this black wood. We could just come up here and actually get the stuff up here is probably more worth it. Tower. Mage tower. Plonk it. All fire. You feel the incredible power of the all fire emanating far away from you. There's a presence connected to it. Strong magics at work. A circle mage will hail them. I am confused. I have a heroic victory. <laughs> That's nice. Uh... Do I want to intimidate the circle mages or appease them? I can't really decide. We'll issue this, them a challenge. Uh, these brutes have hit level 15. They can take intimidating attack, no longer suffering retaliations, which is really good because they have agile. Or Assault, which applies broken armor. I am going to take Intimidating Attack. I also need to summon someone to meld with that. But we do get it in the meantime. I guess I kind of want that brute to go with the troll. Alternatively. Alternatively. 
Alternatively. I can make him into a core dweller. Or an Aether Beast. Aether Beast would not be good. Core Dweller is not terrible, though. The problem is I'd rather make him into a Horned Beast than a Core Dweller. And I don't have that sacrifice unlocked yet. I could maybe mutate this Horned Beast with that Orc. Transform the Brute into a Demon. Yeah, let's think on it a little bit. We got a couple of options. Uh, I am going to have to kill Castle Meldek, it looks like, in order to take Castle Meldek. This guy needs to heal. And he heals very badly right now. You get your heroic victory here. Which is great because it also gets you focus leak. Oh, you have raid tomb as a world skill. That's right. Oh, that's right. We should find tombs and graveyards to loot. She's in a focus leak army right now, so I'm hesitant to give her focus. If you get speed, your charge gets better. Sure, let's also give you banisher. Why not? Give you some willpower. Just give you melee damage. Break your mind. And give you... Not Paradox of Shadow. Host leveled up three times, but minus 100 XP. For Gourmand. I might actually just give this guy a Vulture. what one tourist in here would not be bad for us lets me see what's going on in the world and then I might be in a position that I can wipe out these um, remaining camps now all right you're waiting you're gonna come down here for now uh, okay so uh, before we go any further I do want to know where are the other all fire nodes Demons there. We have all fire. Up right on the edge of Rogan Gore or whatever it's called. This is on the edge of the mountains. Kind of by Neatholfs. There's one way up there. In the dwarfs. One way down here south of Darkvale. So I'd like to get this one. You know what? I can't tell if these are great all-fire nodes or regular all-fire nodes. Yeah, so this is on the edge of the mountains. Uh, there's one right here that spawned. Oh, incredible. We're going to take that for sure. One way up in the dwarf lands. That one's also in the dwarf lands. This one is down by the Arachnomancer. I wouldn't mind getting this one. And this is down in Demon Land. This is also a super high level one. 
Uh, all right, so uh, this is a pretty clear cut path for me as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to roll back and take this all fire. That's going to give me three all fire nodes on like week 13. That's very strong. This one is also big enough that I think it will keep Castle Meldeck for me. Uh, and then we're going to head down and try to get this one afterwards. Maybe pick up Shaper Secret en route. Does your starting class influence your unit roster? Yes, it does. Because I started with a uh, Defy Death Ashen one because I'm an occultist. I don't think it matters much, though. It might actually be only that the occultist gets um, a special unit. Does the game let you make your own demon like it has build an undead? Yeah, kind of. I haven't quite figured out how to get... We have all these lesser demons. So there's a tower upgrade that allows you to fuse lesser demons into greater demons. And I think this is probably the most important thing I could be working on. Because it seems to be that that's where, like, the crux of everything is. I can't put Elven Healroot in here. Of course not. Oof. You are not cheap to get. This is the biggest issue, actually, right now, is that there's no way for me to upgrade. Um... Like, the things that I can craft are demons, and I can't use demons for crafting other things, so there's no way for me to upgrade any of my materials. I just have to find materials. Which is kind of difficult to do. Uh, and Rowan, this guy has just changed to Cold War, so I might actually end up killing Rohan Tar because he's going to be at war with us pretty early on. He's going to be fighting for that all fire. I got a feeling. Shaveri420, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Any class gets a shared unit pool, but you do have specialized units. Yeah. I mean, pretty much everybody starts with goblins is what it's meant to be. So everybody has access to goblins really early on, and that's meant to be your base unit. And then it's kind of depending on more so like where you decide to set up in the world depends on whether or not you want to deal with uh, different types of units. So I decided to start in the Misty Coast, so I started with Orcs. I, for one, am glad you're having fun. I'm glad. Also, hey, boo. Hey, boo. Your door is certainly bust open by magical means, and you see Rowan Tahir walks in. One would think I've warned you plenty, yet you do not seem to learn your lesson. I do not wish for war to ensue between us, so consider this your final chance. Compensate me. I knew you would see reason. This time, make sure to stay away. Rowan marches at your door with his head held high. Oh, he's still in a cold war, though. What? So I gave him 20 bucks and he's still at war with me. Rude. And so now we also have access to Ravagers. Which look like red caps are also what unlock them. Is that right? Two orange? Yeah. Two orange, one death. Red caps. All attacks inflict fear. Anti-cavalry. Armored. Beast, orc, cavalry, mortal. And I guess demon. Weak to elemental because of beast. We're going to hire some of them. Uh, and we get three random loot per week, which will help us with the uh, the loot problem we're having. I won't know. How are you doing? I'd like sniper towers here, but until we get somewhere with hiring slots, I don't foresee that happening. 
Unless you're a Necro in case you also get undead, yeah. Why even pay him if we kill him in like two weeks from now? Uh, because I'm not ready to kill him yet. And if I could have put off that Cold War for a while and had him not harass all of my places, then I would have preferred to do so. It doesn't like benefit. If I go to war with him, that's just like distracting me from doing all the other things. So, you want to say hi to chat? What do you think? He's like, I want to get pet. I want to cover your nice, clean sweater with cat fur. Can I pick you up? Come on, say hi to everybody. Mona time. This is a weird pickup. We don't normally pick you up like this. Hi. Sleepy. I can't have you destroy this sweater. It's a really nice sweater, so. That's all the pickup you'll get today. Lure him into a false sense of security. Now he thinks we're scared of him. We can possess the T3 cavalry with zero upkeep demons. I don't think it works like that. But I'm not certain. Good day, Mana. Good day, Mana. Good day, indeed. She's been lying in the sun all day. Yeah, I'm a little confused because this guy still has an upkeep cost, right? My upkeep is 2-2. Two, two, and... My humans cost me one. Because two of them are enslaved. One of them is recruited. Yeah, so... I, I think that those upgrades, those like cult upgrades, are only for when the demon becomes a demon. Looks like you're a cat. Oh, you have tuxedos as well? We have two. Mona comes out every day on stream. Cindy is like pretty rare. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the agency. Gato, Mona moment. Always. We always got to have a little bit of Mona time. All right. You can get that. These guys are going to head over to Castle Meldek. These guys are really bad at healing. I'm like quite concerned about this demon and letting him just like sit here relatively unopposed. Close defeat. Oh, they're wraiths. Oh yeah, I would lose that. Um, we determined that she has the ability to raid tombs and graveyards. There's a graveyard down here. I would like her to heal a little bit more right now, though. When the door to your study creaks open, you're surprised to see a spectral man enter. The way he carries himself tells you he used to respect and loyalty. Good day, Mige. I've watched your progress with interest and I'm expanding my reach. I need support to finance my endeavors. If you can contribute to my cause, I can put in a word with the rest of the circle. Here you go. He didn't do anything. That was another 20 gold. I got a funny feeling. I'm being bamboozled. Bambuzzled. It's really feeling like we're having a bambuzzlement. Cult that was giving no upkeep passive got trashed. Uh, I don't think so. No, no, because it's these guys. Children of Erdash. Oh. You're right. Actually, these are an all new age. These aren't Erdash. You might be right. I might actually just be dumb. It wouldn't be the first time. All lesson demons are on slaves, yeah. 
All right. Um, this guy's going to heal up that stack, which is why I put him in here. I was thinking about taking this core demon over to demon town. Like I could just give him an all demon army. Nobody can decide what to do. I haven't ran into any um, apprentice schools in quite a while. Week of festivals enables hiring of elven rangers, slavers, and dwarven sentries. We got a lesser trapped soul, a berserk shroom, and a glyph of healthy. Ah. All of these places have spawned again, and Rowan to here is plotting against me. All right. Well, I'm really glad we spent all that money on him. I'm going to keep this so we can finish mutation in a single turn. Ah, visitors, I've waited for you to arrive. What do you want? I want to make another offer but I have nothing to give you. Then unless you're willing to fight me and my armies, I suggest you leave. We can and will fight you. I can't auto it, which is funny though. Soul, Maelstrom, Darkness, and my domain. Baron Meldrick, the Emissary of Calamity. Each ally and their undead in their stack, this unit gains damage reduction. Okay, so we have to kill all the other things before we can kill the Baron. Is pretty much how this works. He takes very little damage. Stop shooting my poor Ashen one. Yes. I mean, that worked. Yes. Some of those guys there. I'm going to battle cry with you. We do a piercing shot. And then I still have enough for one motivate. God, this really doesn't do much damage. Better than nothing, I suppose. Uh -huh. All of those guys are stuck. It's only like the archers who can move. Who are all probably just going to dunk that summon. I'm just going to wait on guard. I was wrong. I don't think they were waiting for me to come in at all. I think perhaps they always intended to hide in the back. Your archers and your archers. This guy still has like pretty good melee attack damage. So why don't I move into range and just do damage? Old Grizzles can move up here. Start getting frenzy stacks. Yes. Um, boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. I'm going to do that and hope that it doesn't get me killed. If 
feel like I've just made a lot of very bad plays. Should have attacked. Because he's going to get killed anyway. But he's going to use someone's entire movement. Right, that could have been worse. Yes. <laughs> How do I want to do you? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. If I move. We can still summon, say, here. Uh -huh. Have him come in and kill them. Yes. Uh, we could probably yeet a healing potion on this guy. I, I think I'd like to get out of range of those archers right now is my, my biggest threat, my biggest concern. Good. He wastes his attack on the summons. They yes. almost kill me back here. But we sneak it through. Kill that archer. Uh, you have enough for three focus, one focus. You have four focus left. That is literally just enough. Let's summon. Let's cleanse those eight stacks of bleeding we've managed to build up. He goes after the summon. These guys go after the grizzles. He's doing fantastic work. We can then move in. I find that literally unbelievable. And hope for the best. Okay, okay, okay. going to go into melee range here so we can do the flank because <clears throat> more importantly allows me a free flank attack here that would kill my poor grizzly bear i'm afraid but my brood is tough enough that he can take it Ooh. Demons do level up. They, I, I, kind of. So demon souls level up. And then technically you can forge lesser demons into greater demons. Though I'm not really sure exactly what that means yet. So there is like a pathway of moving them forward. Armor or speed. Let's give these guys a little bit of armor. As the Black Baron falls, the ghosts of Baronil and her priestesses appear. You've done a great service to Tiara and the world by vanquishing this evil. Now we will finally know peace. Your noble deed shall resonate across all creations. Take this accursed ground. With time, may your virtue cleanse it of evil. We get proficiency. We get 20% soul fine. We also get 10 mana upkeep for free. Plus nine for free mana upkeep. So I could afford to even go further on that. 
Uh, let's leave that building so that we don't have to fight in darkness, which is really bad for us. <clears throat> These guys might attack me here. I'm not totally clear on it. The armies coming out of here are really low level. Which is fantastic for us. I'm going to take Looter. And I'm also going to take Regen because that seems to be an issue we're having. Uh, these guys have Cobalt of Shadows, so a little extra health. Five health actually only became three health. But it's all good experience. Ooh, bite off. This unit regains health equal to 75% of the damage done. A wrecked totem of the eagle will protect adjacent allies against missiles and increase their missile range. One action, one charge. And command. I mean, he's got feast. I like the idea of protecting my shamans with this. Bite off is a single heal once per fight, which also, again, is not bad. A problem I have with this is it doesn't tell me, like, how much does it protect? Shamans and totems, it's classic, right? Yeah, I do really like this idea, and I, I think I'd kind of just like to try it. Okay, okay. Orcs galore. No new magic. Rage hammers. I mean, that's not a bad. It's not a bad choice. But not really what I think I want to spend my money on. AD Freaky, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Feast already uses focus. Feast actually doesn't. Feast just uses a corpse. There is no focus requirement for it. All these guys just like sitting around doing nothing, but wasting my mana. I think it's time we set to them exploring a little bit. All right, Warlock of Shadows leveled up. Nice. Sky Iron. I need them to get some red caps. You've been eagerly awaiting a reply from the circle, uh, which basically says blah, 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 blah. A test. And unlocks the circle page. Now, I think I'm going to go for Master of Magic this time because we seem to be doing pretty well in that already. A hero to fly my colors for sure. We can get that one. No problem. I might take out the competition. We got a couple of options. First, let's corrupt this altar. Uh, I guess the downside of this is I no longer get magic from it. 
mana. But I get all fire, which is better than mana. We've unlocked a mutation. Mutate target mortal unit with a random mutation classifying it as demonic. Summon Demon Lord. While mastering the Dark Hours, you can do more than bend a demon's weapons to your ill. You can make even the largest of the sub come and grovel before you, but at what cost? Uh, this is clearly going to be a T4 unit. I'd really like to get it, but we need to chill on the research right now. I'm, like, actually desperate for mastery. Apprentice Lot Domain, Radiance Tower Rooms. The three tower rooms is kind of what I would like to have. Baron Mildex Soul. Three death damage, 30 health for each undead. Gain 10% damage reduction. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Hang on to it all game, I guess. Um, I haven't made any Cult of the Tides characters. Too focused and immune to burning. I feel like the um, the Warlock here. That'd be a five focus Warlock. I'd rather actually just switch those Warlocks out then. Which I doubt I can do anyway. Boom, boom. I can make this. Do I have to use that glyph? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I do actually. Sure. So this will be good for us. I'd like some magic right now because I have some spells I want to cast, but... <laughs> we could start going really heavy into the research again. And it wouldn't be too hard to do. A lot of spiders from shamans. Great rooms in the amalgamation chamber. Yeah, it's got some really good ones. All right. What I'd like to do is get rid of these new purity dweebs. I can't remember what the might amplifier does either, but I feel like this is a good one. We already checked town. There wasn't anything we wanted. Okay. 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 All right. I need to summon a wisp so I can meld with this node. And then I need to summon the tower up so I can move to that all fire. Uh, so let's start. Well, that all fire is actually already cleared. I don't really need to do anything for it. So I think I might actually start sending this guy down here and make our way into demon land. You're going to wait a turn. You're going to chump out these orcs. That'll let you heal 100% here, which will be really nice. Heavy charge. This unit gains six damage on its first melee strike for every field moved prior to attacking. Yeah, I'll take that. Take speed. I'll take... Speed. 
You guys can rest. You guys can rest. Oh, man. I want to summon Demon Lord so bad. <laughs> One of your scouts returned from a nearby village with a look of bewilderment. It was strange. They asked me to leave my weapon in their care, although there was not a single guard, militia, or a single weapon of their own sight. I've never seen anything like it, even in a village as small as this one. A quiet place. I've bought a slaver to go in this army. I think you need to waste another turn. You need to waste another turn. You're going to go down there. We ready for this? I think we are. Shop up, 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 up. Start, start pushing our way towards the demon Lord. This new purity demon Lord. That's quite the shot. You must have some crazy range. Eagle eye. Soldiers, archers, archers. Soldiers, Goliath, militia. I think they're probably going to stay in one spot. Interesting. It is destructible. Plus six armor against missile attacks, plus three missile range. Wow. Curious. What? What? Uh huh. What? Summon a bunch of spiders to try and get my flank. And I think everybody else is going to guard. Yeah. They're dead. Surprisingly not. Wow. Okay. Uh, Javelins, you're running into the back. Probably further than that, honestly. Morgak, you're going to move straight up. Uh -huh. These brutes are going to move straight up. Spiders are going to do whatever they can, which appears to be not very much. I'm going to move forward and start blasting, probably. What? Ooh, 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 man. Hit him with Ellen's curse and this warg will do more damage to him, but this warg will die if he goes in there right now, so... That's not actually an option. This 
It's a goddamn mess. Heal? I'm gonna kill him with that because it lets me feast the corpse. Those are our archers, yes. I'm trying to decide like where I wanna pick this attack to right now. I think that's the right choice because it's going to keep as many of them as busy as possible. And that'll provide some cover for him. Uh, and this guy's hiding. Those spiders are dead. Those spiders are dead. Those guys took so much damage. I'm flanked. But their archers are dead in an attack of opportunity. Okay. That works. These guys are so good against my wargs. It's wild. What? I pretty much have to move on those archers. I am flanked by a Goliath right now who will kill me. I can heal. Oh, dark mending does work. Everybody counts as a demon. Everybody counts as a demon for dark mending. Eighty six to eighty six. They won't kill him. I can flank him. Help deal with the morale as well. Okay. That is too close for comfort. That is much too close for comfort. We got out of that by the skin of our teeth. Everyone counts as a demon also means that enemy demon hunter units hurt. Yes, that is exactly, exactly why these new purity dudes are so much of a pain. Because they're doing plus six damage to me against every strike. Good catch. Evasive moves. This unit ignores the enemy's zone of control and will not get hit by attacks of opportunity. Or a glyph. Uh, yeah, we'll give you evasive moves. Oh, and long range expert? Awesome. Uh, now, unfortunately, I am not in a good position to heal, and if those guys move in, I'm dead. So I'm going to run back to this cave and take my 50% healing. Go check out a quiet place with my demons. And 
around. No, honestly, I think the only thing that matters right now is the effusing crystal. I would sacrifice the weapon of the leader if I could build this. Nope. All right, enter. See, Ravager is coming down the hill at me. I may need to move back to my tower. Maybe this one rare demon artifact per week is a good crafting item. I hope so. I certainly hope so. A grunting and groaning draws your attention towards a nearby boulder. You ran it to find the circle mage's disciples slumped against it. They're heavily wounded, not likely to survive the next few hours. What happened to you? I've done many things I'm not proud of in the name of higher wisdom. Undergas wanted us to empty this holy place in search of Irion's quill. The priests bound themselves to the door, trying to prevent our entry. When the order came to kill them, I could not do it. I stood between my comrades and the priests tried to reason, but it did not matter. All I could do was run gravely wounded. I do not deserve to go on. All I wished for is a swift death. Tell us about the quill. It's been lost for centuries. It supposedly grants great knowledge and power to the one who wields it. We discovered it hidden in a shrine, but we could not find the right one yet. If you hurry, you might be able to stop this madness. Uncover the quill before undergassed. I'll kill him. Okay, we have no idea where that shrine is, though. Like, at all. <laughs> Very good, Sha. This grizzly bear is leveled up. We'll give him some willpower. He seems like he's got a lot of HP. Yeah, I think this army, which includes Skull Crusher trolls, with War Banner. Oh my god. Okay. And Ravagers, Wargs, Alchemists, and Brawlers. Almost definitely he's coming for this tower. Mutate Targal Mortal Unit with a random mutation classifying it as demonic. So I'm going to do that to these Brutes. I'm going to do this to this hero. The Bruce are already demons. You're right, but my hero is not. Scorpion Tail. Unit has an additional free attack. Melee attacks can inflict poison. Does that mean he gets an additional fireball? Obviously, I want to cast that on my big troll now, too. But... I have other spells I have to cast first. You arrive in the village so bewildered, your scouts immediately understand the confusion. You've never been in such a serene place in your life. The people are quiet, cheerily going about their day. The adults are friendly. The children are playful. As described, there is not a guard or weapon anywhere to be seen. But all that might be considered normal if it weren't for the subtlest hints of magic throughout the year. Down by a small idyllic stream, you find two people telling a story next to a group of enamored children. At the sight of your approach, the elder of the two leaves her friend with the children and hurries over to you. Uh, this is a place of peace. We mean no harm. Wish no harm to come upon us. We would ask you not to carry weapons or your ideas of conflict here. What's going on here? 
I don't know what you mean. The woman shakes her head and beholds the beautiful greens and golds of the world. And the light ripples across the water and turns to you with a wide smile. Is it not perfect? What beauty peace brings with it? We're grateful to the Lady of Light for the blessing she has bestowed upon us. Lady of the Light. Lady of the Light. Yuria, the great mage of the circle. This is the other circle mage. The only mage I've heard of that wishes us to return to Fiara what time and evil people have robbed from us. May your blessings go with us from this land. Seems odd. Ha! <laughs> that's it. That's the whole adventure. All right. I'm going to keep sneaking. Does this guy have a lodge set up anywhere? I don't think he does, does he? No, that's his lodge. On the dragon heart. Mm. Oh, Irion's quill. Mmm. Okay. I could take my army back here and do that quest. <gasps> oh, man. Okay. Also, we're being like invaded by a lot of these guys. We're on the border of being invaded by a lot of those guys. Nice little heroic victory here. We loot the graveyard. Take a lodge upgrade. Mend, heavy charge, or cleanse. I'm also going to take heavy charge on you. Immune to staggered and stunned. Applies nimble. I'm going to take nimble on you. Uh, and this is a graveyard, so I could loot this. Warband. Alternatively, I could move her lodge down here. And I could pick up permanent mana research gold, and all fire. That's actually pretty good. Four gold. Construction. Hiring slots. That's actually really good. And, you know what? If I put it there, I'd also get this primordial forest. So I could probably move this Apprentice Lodge somewhere else. I know it's on Dragon's Heart, but I literally can't even get this yet, so. What fights do you recommend not to auto-sim? Basically anything that's not a heroic victory. <laughs> like, that's... Uh, heroic victories are the only thing that I don't fight, because I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to come out on this in roughly full HP. So why bother? guys level up another Taurus to the eye. Runes depleted. Sister incantations. Reaffiliation. By using the cult slot, you can change the affiliation of your demons. This is a way to swap some of the bonuses and create otherwise impossible combinations. You can affiliate an artifact with a cult, granting it the cult's power. Affiliation has lower mana requirements than other projects. Rated Blaze. So, like... Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Obviously better to possess it with like a demon because then you get Hold to the eye. 
possessed cultist i uh, so i think you can do a possession and i think you can do this in like multiple steps willpower uh if i was to take something like the taurus to the eye and put it into tides I'd get world map vision, world map movement, vision range, and the ability to traverse rivers and water. That's actually pretty good. That being said, I'm currently using my mana for other things. Some cults won't let you get certain colors. This lets you get the cult bonus with impossible demons. Aha. I understand. My all fire. My lodge. Well, dude, if you're looking for a fight, that's certainly one way to get it. Uh, I'm not healed enough. I can't make my lodge now either. Ah, he's converting the lodge too. <clears throat> 400, 500. Take that. Take that. You can go over there. I can't do much about this. But I can do much about this. Let's cut our way back up here. I'm gonna have those guys scout to the south. Uh, I'm gonna have to defend this. There's no point in me summoning uh, the chaotic spirit until this is cleared. Otherwise, they're just gonna absolutely give it. Oh, he's melding my mana node. Oh, what a rat. Lol. He lost against those undead. Okay. Uh, let's stop that meld from happening, first and foremost. Some cults, yeah. Spell force, my love. I need more workers. Uh, it would be nice if I could get one more worker. The defending army is reinforced with a chaotic spirit. Are you for real? It's my spirit. These are wisps. These are wisps. It's goblin shaman. Yuck. These guys are all going to get buffed every time one of them dies. It's actually really gross. If you had six of those in a stack, the last one would basically become unkillable. Yeah, look at that. They get a chaotic spirit. That's so bogus. All right, all right. Um, hmm. 
Oh, I just flubbed that so bad. Uh, I guess I could put spiders in front of them. There's not a lot of point in hitting the trolls. What? No, right, I'm actually going to go wide with you. Nice. They wasted Zerbo's curse on spiders. Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm dead. I can't win this fight. Zero percent chance I can win this fight now. Yeah, that is actually hilarious. Uh, I didn't realize that they would get bonuses for my spiders also dying. That is legitimately crazy. Can I curse? I can't heal people. I can't heal him though. Do, 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 do. I guess kill him. Give him more stacks of nature's vengeance. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this guy is just going to pummel me into the dirt right now. Holy weapons. Hmm? That is awfully close right now. What? It's good code dude two different ways depending on how I decide to do it. you kill him but he doesn't all right we're gonna kill him because it's gonna let me eat his corpse which i'm fairly certain is the only chance i have of surviving this Then you're going to summon a spider on top of him. You guys are going to run for the hills. Uh, and you're going to guard, I think. Deadly weapons. Death damage. One, one. One, one, one. Three. Kill. What? What? Somehow not a kill. I mean, he's got spiders on him. He can't go anywhere. Mm. 
wild wild turnaround on that fight oh my god i thought for sure we were toast feast in time kill it and eat it nature's vengeance for killing beasts themselves i guess you want this army now yeah i mean <laughs> if i could replace all three of these frontliners with feral trolls that get bonuses every time we kill a spider are you kidding me with two shamans in the back who summon like six spiders per round The insanity of that is not even to be remotely considered. Uh, we got some nice souls out of this as well. I am a little bit pummeled. Technically, everyone in here is a demon, so I'm going to get 200% daily regeneration for demons. Give you some speed. I'll give you missile damage. Hoo-wee! Level six. This guy doesn't level very fast. But that stops that from being done. Infused memory. Enchanted... Enchanted fantastic creatures can gather experience and gain levels. What? This is wild. Pandemonium. You could turn your tower into a vial of complete chaos and ultimate dominion. I obviously I want that. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to give it to this guy. Because he's got the Fi Death. This is basically like a perfect character to put this on. And with demonic weapons, he does an insane amount of damage to basically everybody. Infused memory is amazing. It does cost three mana upkeep per cast, which is a lot. Now. Are you going to be a problem? Excuse me. Shoe man workers. What is going on in D-Man land? I really feel like I got to kill this guy sooner than later. Uh, let's go. I'm going to pause right here. You can join this slaver who's coming in. Dudes, I need some more apprentices is one of the big things we're really like hurting on right now. No spells charging. Well, that can't be correct. Provides optimal conditions for summoning. has to be an empty hex. Obviously, I'm wondering, like, if I make this, does it make, like, a special location that I can do something at? It's kind of my thought process. Mutate Morgak. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I 
I think that's probably the best choice. All right. He's going to leave me alone. Here we go. Nice lodge right here. Very nice lodge right here. We're going to wait and we're going to heal. And then I'm going to eventually attack this orc warband. They're going to spawn another army tomorrow, but I could also mutate her. Wipe these dweebs out. Okay. Please get something good. Please get something good. Please get something good. Please get something good. His mutation is Scorpion Tail. He gets a bonus attack. Melee attacks also inflict poison now. This glyph gives you plus six damage if you attack an enemy that's afflicted by poison. Do I want that on you? I think I want to do something with this cut's throat knife. God, how do I really have no good demons to put in here? You know what I would like to do? I think, I think I'd like to put a level three tourist on that knife and give it to him because it would cause him to level up way faster if he had 200% XP. Which means... I have to sacrifice this guy. So let's wait a turn or two until we know what they're doing. Do we have uber good luck that we got scorpion tail times two or uber bad luck? I, it's really good to have on him. On my mage wasn't so good. The daily march of your troop is interrupted by Rohan's glassy form. Apologies for the delay. I have an offer... You won't refuse lightly. Yeria, a dear colleague of mine, has the audacity to claim one of my mines I have earmarked. She says it's in the name of peace, but her slaughtering says otherwise. Give her a taste of your own medicine and I'll make it worth your time. Uh, I thought you had warriors to fight with. This is true, but angering other members of the circle is a risk. Besides, my troops are where they ought to be. This is a minor inconvenience. Um, No. Sorry, dude, but you've been a pain in my butthole. Whoa! What are these guys? Gluttons! These are brand new. Tier 3 Fantastic Demons. Agile. Choking Fumes. Effortless Defense, of course, with as many Doc Octopus arms. Fearless Poison Touch. Death Resistance as well. We got Wendigos, who look like they've had a minor visual upgrade. Core dwellers, gargoyles, and ashen ones. <laughs> Uram Gore. Uh, now, I would like to hit this blessing and head to Irulan's Quill. So I think these guys only offer you one spell and I already took it and it wasn't the spell I wanted. Maybe they'll have a new one next week, but I hope so. Demonologist requires more mana than Necromancer. The thing is, is like you're able to build chaos altars and you are able to also build things like friends on the other side, plus 50% mana from all fire flow. So I got a feeling 
that mana stops becoming a huge issue at a certain point. I never thought about this. Pack to wealth, 10 gold a day. Tower hiring duration plus one. It's already like five turns for us to hire anything. Uh, you have raiding party and slave pits. I need war banner. Uh, these red caps are... Uh, you know what? The Ravagers, I think, are actually too orange. Yeah, they are. So, Warlocks unlock... with red caps. But you need a two orange, one purple to uh, to do Ravagers. I am not sure off the top of my head. I don't have nearly, even remotely, close to enough elemental for this. Death resistance or white resistance? I'm fighting a lot of orcs, beasts. I think white resistance. I think Yeria and Earthaguard or whatever his name is both do white. New Purity also does white, yeah. Those demons do death, but... Um, I can maybe afford this. If I can use that bloody elven heal route, it'd be no problem. I can't even remotely get this. What about mana storage? So let's go like uh, you, you, you. One blue, one green. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'd rather be crafting something at this point than nothing at all. I guess. I guess. Okay. So we've got our new lodge up. We're making our way to Arion's Quill, which is in a couple of spots here, actually, I'm realizing. That's being melded. I tell you what we could do. Start charging the tower. And then we can levitate that up there and go for the all fire. Uh, so that's what this guy will also do, is he'll start making his way to the all fire. Probably interrupt the tower halfway. We could pick up that and be in a good little spot. I, I don't know. I could go on a warpath against Rowentar. It would get rid of him really early. Bane of the Unnatural. All units except mortal units are affected by Bane of the Unnatural. All mortal units are affected by Aeonir's Blessing. Circle Medusa Guards. Okay, so his whole thing is mortal units. Ah, it's an option. It's not a bad option. Swap him out and have the troll go there, there, and make the troll's way east. He could finish up his quest. 
all right we got a bit of a plan but we're gonna leave the plan at that today because i actually don't have a lot of time i have to go do valentine's things so stay tuned we'll be back tomorrow we're gonna do more demons uh and we'll continue on the campaign from there uh -huh.